Hello, hello, good people. Hope everyone is doing all right. Wow, I'm super, super grateful. I woke up, I slept, I watched the video that Mara posted, my video with him. I slept and woke up to, to a shocking 1.52 new subscribers. Thank you so, so, so much to Mara who joined my channel. I promise you, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it here as well. Yeah, as I'll keep you entertained. I'll take you through my day-to-day -day activities, as I mentioned. Yeah, and you'll walk with me in my journey. It wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't just be only about cancer, but I'll show you more about Sharon's lifestyle. So today morning, yeah, I need, I need to be, to be in the hospital by 8:30. Uh, not. Yeah, 8.30 Kenyan time. So I just want to take a quick breakfast. Then I rush to the hospital for my 15th radiotherapy session. So uh, though the hospital uh, really declined, uh, they don't, the hospital policy doesn't agree anyone to film. So unfortunately that bit I, I am not allowed to show you. But uh, keep it posted here. I'll keep on, uh, I'll show you my the activities today and you you'll enjoy you'll enjoy my videos that's one of the twins my little geo say hi, hi. say morning <laughs> <laughs> that's uh that's a geo uh short form for giovanni then we have uh, we have gigi that's the sister gigi say hi <laughs> <laughs> she's just wondering what's going on she's, she's sad so yes those are the little, the, my little twins and uh, the elder brother has gone to school though you'll get to see him more in the videos as well bye mama the door no let it open let it open bye Gio bye Gigi see you later so guys I'm, uh, I'm off now I need to carry these jerry cans with me because I buy milk. There's a place that I go to get milk. So my nanny just informed me that we need to we need to stock more milk. So that's why I need to go to take it with me. Yeah, as soon as I'm done with the with the hospital, I can uh, I can go by the the milk place. So and uh, water water is key stay hydrated always water is uh, is very important so we need to close the gate and uh, and leave for the hospital yeah so we are good to go we need we have like 40 minutes to to go good thing we have we have the expressway so i'll get to the hospital on time because it's like for my new subscribers from my place to from my place to the hospital is it's roughly 20 minutes drive when you use the the expressway so I'm still I'm still very much on time so yeah let's go and let's go and get session 15 of radiotherapy done uh, so I'm on transit right now heading uh, to the hospital uh, there's a there's a there's a bit of traffic but I hope uh, I won't be so late so I would just like to to talk a little bit about my my stay in Nyabohanse. Oh, awesome, awesome people. Everybody is friendly. They are also welcoming. It felt like just being home, far away from home. I'm really grateful to everybody that I met in Nyabohanse. Thank you so much for taking me in as your other sister. Um, I was really, really, and I'm really grateful still. Perry is uh eli sami everyone that i met uh thank you thank you so 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 much may you be all be blessed i'll be coming back 
very soon again because now Nyabohanse, <laughs> Nyabohanse is my other new found home. Yeah, so it's uh, it's Monday morning. New new goals for the week. Uh, I want to uh, this week. I want to really go back again to the gym and train. At least I, I still have. I, I have. I feel like my body is still having uh, energy, and I don't have so much activities going on this week. So I think for for my sessions. Sorry, I think for my sessions, uh, my evening sessions, or maybe afternoon, I'll be going to the gym. But today I I have. I have an errand to run in town once I'm done in the hospital. Yeah, so I'll go to town, do one, two, three things, then uh, pass by my sister's house and uh, see what's up for the afternoon. So, yeah, beautiful morning in Nairobi. Everyone is up already. So uh, let me just take you through. Yeah, this is... Uh, I live near near the airport. This area is called uh, Siokimau. So for most visitors who are, who come to Nairobi and they have connecting flights, they like residing here because we have, uh, you can see, we have lots of lots of apartments which are Airbnbs. So most people like uh, staying around this area. It's an upcoming, uh, not really a town, I would say an estate, yes, it's a good estate with uh, most of the social amenities are around as well. So if anyone comes to Kenya, they are on transit and maybe the connecting hours to the, for the next flights are so many, you can get accommodation around this area. It's called uh, Siokimau. So uh, guys, I've already joined uh, the expressway so I've left the main the main road this is the beautiful Nairobi expressway it makes our it makes our life easier nowadays because you avoid the mad hassle of traffic jam on the on the main road yeah so with the expressway let me just show you I don't know if you can see where the other vehicles are that's the main road and then now we have uh, we have this the expressway where I'm on so with this in the next uh, in the next let's say 15 minutes yes I'll be in the hospital because it's uh, it's super fast we're really grateful for this road because it really made it has made our life easier for those who reside along this it's called the Nairobi Mombasa highway but it's called Mombasa road so it has made our life really really easy we commute easily with no much trains because previously it would take us close to two or three hours just getting to uh, to the CBD, yeah, in town. But nowadays, you get on expressway less than 15 minutes, you're already in town. So super awesome and amazing. We are grateful for our former president, Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta, who, who commissioned this road for us. Yeah, so get now to get now to the hospital much easily so it's already 8 or 5 a.m kenyan time i still have uh, 30 minutes to go because my my session my session is uh, is at 8 35 i'm really trying to keep on adjusting because of my hand uh, Yes, like I mentioned, I got I had a mastectomy done on my right side. So this right this right hand uh, is not back to normal as such. So I I get a bit tired uh, once in a while and uh, holding the camera for long with this arm. Yeah, I get tired. So I'm just trying to put my uh, arm on this uh, armrest here. Yeah, so. Uh, those are some some of the some of will I say some of the things that you encounter after ma mastectomy. The side that you've been operated on, especially the arm, yeah, you have to keep on exercising it because with my case, uh, they had some of the lymph node removed. So the water, you see, just let me just show you. You see the advantage of the expressway. That's traffic on the other road. But when you look at this road that I'm using, it's all smooth and clear. But the other guys on this end, they'll have to wait for close to even an hour or more than an hour just to, to let it flow. So, 
yeah that's what I was explaining about the expressway so uh, like I mentioned uh, I, I had the lymph node uh, removed yeah so you have I, the doctors said I have to keep on exercising just to avoid uh, getting oedema oedema is uh, swelling of the arm there are people I don't know maybe you've seen some women uh, maybe one of their one of their hands is really really big in most scenarios the doctors said when you when you meet with such ladies most probably they had a mastectomy done and then they got oedema so I always ensure that on a daily basis that I, I exercise there are those uh, arm exercises that you do you do when uh, when you have a mastectomy done so I make sure I do those arm exercises just to avoid getting oedema and uh, to make my right hand like go back to normal because I'm, I'm right-handed so I need it more and more active yeah so these are just some of the of the things about my journey I'll be throwing here and there just to to keep you still aligned to my to my course and yeah before I forget uh, ladies, uh, it is uh, October. October is usually the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Please go get examined. Go get screened for these things. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it lightly. You know, people. Uh, you you meet people. The doctors tell you, "Oh, come get examined or do the self exam, breast self examination." You just take it or brush it off. But it's really, really important. They say your health is your wealth, and it doesn't cost anything. Just go just get it done exactly examine do self-examination go get the screenings done yeah it's breast cancer awareness month so i'll push the drive to to let us I'll, I'll be speaking about this every every day like go get examined do the screenings just know your health so we're here now at the hospital there was a bit of traffic after getting out of the expressway getting on to limuru road but i'm glad i'm still on time and uh yeah like you can see this side there's not much traffic so it's just getting into the hospital getting my details and then yeah getting ready for for the session uh for today so this is the entrance to aga khan yeah, this is where I got my mastectomy done and this is where I'm doing the radiotherapy. Like I don't know if I mentioned in my previous video for the chemos, uh, chemotherapy, I got it in a different hospital called Jalaram. That's where my oncologist is based. So a little bit of security checkup here. Yeah. Then uh, before proceeding, then I head in straight and uh, start my session. Good thing it takes uh, roughly less than, uh, uh, it takes 20 minutes then i'm done with the session so it looks like it's customer service week yeah with the uh, lots and lots of balloons uh, we go down where my session is is done so I'm done with the hospital. I'm uh, now getting in town uh, to to do a few errands before heading back home. Because after the session, you're advised to 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 have some bit of rest before anything else. So I finish my my errands in town, then uh, go home, uh, relax a bit. Then I'll see how my body will be if I manage to to go to the gym for a few minutes. So here we are. This is town. So I just need to see someone here in town for a few minutes, then uh, head back home. I'm here in the lifts. I need to see someone here on fourth floor here. Then go. Uh, so guys, I'm back home. Oh, it's extremely hot. I had to remove my wig. Extremely hot. The little ones can't even let me breathe. Come, come. The... Mommy. Yeah, okay, let's go, Gigi. Let's go, let's go. There goes Gigi. It's belly. Gigi. Yeah, so... Let's see what we are going to... Gigi is trying to show you he has a doll, but it's not even his, it's Gigi's. Mama, say Hi! hi. 
enjoying this moment here yeah. so they're excited mommy is back home so let's see what we gonna do in the afternoon i feel so exhausted i haven't had enough rest from my from my trip uh so i want to have a quick bite Yes, and then I I go I go to sleep. For, I nap for like an I nap for like an hour. So my quick lunch is it really lunch or is it just bites? Oh, Gigi, let me first finish, Mama. So I'm going to have what am I having? What is this? What is this? See some rice and uh, little bits of beans and uh, some uh, some milk as well. This is some sour milk. We call it maziwamala. Yes. And I don't know if these little friends of mine will let, me, will let me eat in peace. So let me just have a quick bite, nap, see whether... No, no, Gigi, your hair is getting into my food. The nap a bit and then see whether I'll manage to, to go to the gym or today I can take a day off and maybe start my gym routine tomorrow. So enjoy your meal wherever you are. It's lunch time for those who are, their timings are not like ours. I know you, it's still, you're still sleeping. Yeah, let me enjoy my lunch then we'll catch up later again. So the kids are the kids are having their lunch right now so i want to take this this chance and lock myself in my bedroom and uh, just take a nap because today i feel i feel really fatigued i think it's because i traveled over the weekend and uh, i think just being monday i my body today it's totally uh, i feel really exhausted so i don't think i'm going to manage to go to the gym because they always tell you the doctors always tell you listen to your body if you feel you have the energy do something if not just listen to your body take enough rest take a lot of water and uh, and just relax so that's why i want to i want to take a nap maybe for for maybe two hours yeah just to relax so that i have my full energy back yeah before i take a nap i remember that uh, i just i just need to share share some piece of information or yeah just some pointers that uh, i i i came to, uh, that i got today in the hospital i i met an amazing nurse today anthony mwangi in agakan is in the radio Hello, Anthony. I, I told him I must give him a shout out in my video <laughs> now that he's one of my subscribers as well. So, um, Anthony works in the radiotherapy department. He's in the he's in the, he's a nurse there. So, as I was done with my session, Anthony going to the changing room. Anthony called me and he's like, "Yeah, Sharon, I watched your videos. I've been watching your videos. I watch your videos, and uh, uh, something told me I need to I need to call this lady today and just have a session with her." Just talk to her find out how she's doing yeah because uh, my doctor doesn't sit in uh, the my oncologist doesn't sit in in Aga Khan so usually I have my sessions with my doctor in another hospital in a different hospital so I just go to Aga Khan for 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 the for the procedure for the radiotherapy uh, so when Anthony called me I was just like hmm what's up what's going on is everything okay then he called he started talking about how he watched my video and he told me something that really caught my attention and i'm like yes now everything is adding up one plus one like why uh, some stuff you might be going through hard times in life there's always a reason as to why why you why you why are you going through this time what is god preparing you for what is going to happen next yeah so so during he mentioned um well uh, with cancer patients during that time when you you're going maybe through the chemotherapies that time you're going through the the surgery beat you're given like a month a month after every session for recovery a month after every session during that time you're totally like should i use this word like you're shut from your world so all that's in your mind is uh is just your treatment and your treatment nothing else that goes on in your head so anthony mentioned like 
think about this during that time when just you just shut from everything else that's the that's the that's the that's the time that you need to use it just to find exactly what's your purpose what's your purpose in life what exactly are you are you supposed to be doing because things have something let not really stop but things have stopped yes so what else can you do what's your purpose in life and to be very honest it really it really hit me because it's just like yes this time uh, i remember there's a time I went uh, uh, during my chemos. There's a time because I haven't been going to the office uh, since I started my treatment. My employers or just like please take some time off. Just get your treatment done. Once you you're in a in good space, you'll come back to the office. So it really gets boring just sitting at home and doing nothing. So during the chemo times, I remember once in a while I'll pop in the office just to say hi and just to see how things are do are uh, going on. So one day I had coffee with my was and he asked me so yeah i can imagine just going to the hospital coming back home there's nothing you're doing so have you thought of maybe quitting employment or a side hustle true to his word yes these are these are some of the things that used to cross my mind like should i start something the fear of the unknown you know i'm like if i start a business what if it didn't pick up all that this is the same this tries to link with this with what uh, anthony told me today like during this time when you're just in this space alone like what's your purpose what's your purpose in life and that hit me because this is the time when uh the just few weeks ago like i mentioned in my previous video that's when i thought sharon why not because i'm a very vocal person and i'm um, such a bubbly soul i'm i'm such a happy person and most of my friends used to tell me like you uh, we feel like you're in the wrong field you need to be out there you 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 just you're just like an influencer like sharon you just need to be out there to share your story show us how motherhood has been with the twins just do something about it so during this two uh during this period is when i thought yeah sharon true to the to my friend's words why why don't i reach out to women and uh girls who are going through through this treatment maybe uh maybe i can I can be an inspiration to them that despite uh despite uh having this uh handling this despite this illness like i'm still living my life i'm still happy i'm still the same sharon yeah i, I have a few changes here and there the hair loss yeah which are really i've really what will i what's the best word to say uh I've, 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 should I say I've absorbed it? Yeah. And I like the new me. There are a lot of changes which come with this treatment. Yeah. People will look at you. They, yeah, this has changed. This has changed. So why don't you, Sharon, why don't you reach out to women going through this and uh, just show them the other side? Like, despite what you're going through, you can still live your normal life. Like, there's nothing happening. Like, I take it cancer for me. Cancer is just but a name. It's not something that is going to stop me from living my life it's not something that should make me like have a different perception about things i start feeling like oh no this and this is gonna happen i feel sorry for myself no but instead cancer came and uh it really it really changed who sharon is it changed a lot it changed uh, a lot uh, my perspective a lot about life a lot because I came to realize like life is very fragile and it's it's a fickle. One minute you you're very much okay, the next minute you're here being told uh, be, be, being mentioned two big words that you don't know in the medical world. So just what I can say is just live your life just be live your life to the fullest enjoy just live it right with everyone around you just be happy just be happy and make sure you're in good terms with with everyone so uh, like Anthony, let me just take you back to what Anthony said. Like Anthony said, during this time, like find out what's your purpose in life. And I'm happy that uh, with the last two weeks, like I really, I really thought to myself, why don't I reach out to as many women as I can? Why don't I reach out to as many young ladies like me who are going through this, or if not just cancer, other hurdles in life? Why don't I reach out to them through my story? Maybe they'll get inspired. 
child yes despite being a mom despite being uh, you can imagine those who have ki who have twins despite having twins who can really be can really ash eat your head at times yeah and you still have to manage uh, an a terminal illness that is here despite all that i'm still very strong i'm still very happy i go about my my life normally like nothing is happening yeah that's the that's the calling i think uh why 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 was this why was sharon why is it that i'm the one who had to go through this uh to get this cancer yeah so i hope my story i'm um, here and uh, pr really praying that i'll keep on pushing i'll get to as many women as i can i'll get to many young ladies and even not just uh the women even the gentlemen there are people there are men who are going through prostate all these types of cancers and if not just cancer other types of issues in life my story i'm sure will reach out to them and they'll have a different perspective about life live your life just be happy you you can't say uh, it's only they say it's only it's only god who knows when your time on this earth is up so before that why 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 stress about things that you don't have you don't you you you, you things that are not really uh, they're out of your reach why why get bothered with that enjoy your life eat healthy yeah try as much as you can eat healthy exercise drink lots of water go out have fun with people enjoy with your family and just leave the rest and most importantly just pray and and leave the rest to god so i really thank anthony for just like highlighting this and i'm so happy that i came to realize within those two weeks yes my purpose is through despite uh despite this cancer thing that came yeah have come to find out yes sharon you have this gift you'll reach out to people you'll talk about different things to women and you're gonna be an inspiration to many people and I'm really happy and uh, very grateful to Marwa that I've been able to reach to to different people in different corners of this world that I didn't know I would one day reach out to. And uh, the comments, I'm just so inspired that my story has really inspired some of you and has touched as many as you. I remember I've forgotten the name. There's a lady who mentioned here the the sister-in-law just started her cancer her cancer journey. Uh, was it two months ago? And uh, she was really excited she's like i'm so happy that i came across your video i'm gonna show it to my sister-in-law just to give her that inspiration that look this another lady fighting who has fought this we're still fighting this and look at her she's very happy very bubbly and just enjoying her life so i think uh yeah for today i'll i'll end my video at that i just want to to have really enough rest but from tomorrow more and more uh stories more and more interaction with my with my family we'll get to find out more of what goes on during my my day and uh, yeah continue supporting me continue being uh being here for me i'm really really grateful and thankful and uh Thank you so, so much. And once again, thank you, Timara, for joining. And thank you so much for your overwhelming support. I, I honestly don't have enough words to say, but my heart is very grateful. And thank you so much. May you all be blessed. I'll see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye.